It's cozy quarters. Coach, right. do you want to talk about the first half or the second half? Yeah, that's a good question. It's the same thing I just talked to the team about, ironically. You know, I thought we played pretty competitively in the first half. You know, I thought we ran the ball fairly effectively. We still gave up some big plays, which is was a bit ominous on defense because they made some big plays in the first half, and that ended up being the theme of the day on defense. It was like big play after big play, and that, that, that really didn't turn out the way you planned it. You know, offensively, we said move the ball pretty well in the first half. I think we probably only had it four times. They scored two touchdowns, and then they went down there and missed a chip shot field goal uh, on, on that other one. Uh, I think that I, I was I was a little bit surprised. I was surprised that we didn't uh, play better in the third quarter because you know we kind of got a little bit of a gift horse. You know not, them not scoring after our interception right before halftime, coming out of their coming out of their empty. So it was only a one score game, but we went three and out and they scored. And then we went on a long drive. And then we threw the interception down in the down on the four yard line and. From there, from there on, you know, I think that you know, K State basically got the best of us the rest of the day. Do you think it turned on? Uh, you got the safety, and then they, the, you're going to get the free kick, and you're still in pretty good shape there. And then you fumble the free yeah, kick. That, uh, and at that, that point, was, I think they scored four yeah. touchdowns on 11 offensive plays. Was it? Uh, it seemed like the third quarter went on forever. Yes. Because you know they were scoring quick. You know, we're, we were going into the game to be methodical. Obviously, we weren't going in there to try to throw the ball up and down the field on them. That wasn't the game plan. The game plan was to nickel and dime them and grind it out and be patient because that's how their defense plays. But you know, that turnover was a, bit, was a big one because it was kind of, you know, you just got the emotional high of the safety, and then you have the emotional low of, of turning the ball over and they score and... Uh, Hey, look at you! Always have to respond to a sudden change or a turnover, you know, in, in a proper fashion. But like you said, that you know, they're, they're just scoring chunks. They're just big play after big play, and um, I'm really disappointed because I rhetorically asked this question. I said, "No, we've been talking about for two weeks about finishing games. So basically, in the first half, it's a fairly even Stephen game." Okay, they're up on the score, uh, a touchdown, but you know it's a 21-14 game. It's a competitive, hard-fought game. And in the second half, you know, as the game goes on, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And I never like opened it up and went two minute and throwing the ball over the yard. Open, open yourself up for you know a zillion turnovers. But the bottom line is when you have a minus five in the turnover ratio to a team that's as good as this, you're going to lose every you know le like this. Most of the time. How much better is your offense with Tony Pearson? Well, I mean, Tony's one of our few home run hitters. I mean, you saw on a screen pass. You know, most other guys would get 10 yards and get tackled. But Tony makes guys miss in the open field, and, and we don't have very many guys that make a miss in the open field. And that's as much as anything, you know, the key ingredient. And we went into this game, you saw. You know, obviously Tony flexed out a little bit where we're throwing a lot of bubble bubble screens to him. And we really weren't screens, they were, you know, just swing pass based off of what, you know, what you know K State was doing on defense. And, you know, Tony, you know, Tony's in there making a bunch of play making a bunch of plays and he's one of our few dynamic players. So he goes down, it isn't like you haven't practiced other guys to do the same jobs. But they're you know, they're not the same player and it definitely, you know, it, it definitely hurts you. You know, Can you talk status? about it? At no, they said that he. I came. I, you know, first of all, they wanted to know whether or not I wanted him to dress for the second event. So just put him in a jacket, you know, you know. And he. I guess when they go back, they'll X-ray him and stuff when we go back because you know, we're gonna have treatment when we get back at the when we get, when we get back there. So we'll get checked out with that. Coach, can you talk about Colin Klein, the job he did today? Uh, but that's every game. I mean. It's not today, it's, it's last week, it's the week before that, it's the week before that. You know, the one thing about this kid, you know, and he doesn't have to throw it too much for, for them to be good on offense, you know, because the two key ingredients with Colin is, A, he can run the ball with power. He's not like one of those, you know, quarterbacks who has to get on the edge and be a read option guy. 
he can run with power, and then B, he causes misdirection problems with 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 Hubert, because if you're spending all your time, you know, trying to stop Colin, there, you know, that now he's handing the ball off, and I can't tell you how many times in this game you saw the running back in space, you know, and, and a lot of times that space is caused because you're trying to stop that quarterback who who was a who was a fairly dynamic runner. What was the thought process? Two fakes in the first half on that one drive, and does that send any kind of message to the team when you throw the dice like that? Well, I told them that every every week I have Clint look for anything that has a chance, and then when he he thinks something has a chance, he comes to me, and I'll say put it in, and if I say put it in, I'm calling it. Okay, so I mean, it's when we when we put something in. You won't have to worry about me taking a chance, and and especially in a game like this. I mean, when you know you're playing against a team of this caliber, you got to be willing to take some risks. Okay, and and we did, and, and you know, in that case, you know, in that case, you know, we did two in a. I think they might have been in the same drive. And so you do two in a drive, it gives you a touchdown. You know, you got 14-7, and you know you're hanging around. You know, hanging around with a chance, with the, with the team believing you have a chance. Coach, it isn't just the third straight Sunflower Showdown loss to K-State. It's, it's a third straight bad one. And are there any bigger implications as far as recruiting goes every time with this series because it is an in-state rivalry? Well, if I were a recruit, I'd want to come play for us and get on the field pretty quick, don't you think? I mean, there's t there's two angles when you look at recruiting. You know? one, one angle is how the teams are doing. The other angle is you want to play. I mean, you watch the game, right? <laughs> come on, let's go. I mean, it really doesn't have to be that difficult sometimes in recruiting. These guys all want an opportunity to come in and play, and be, and they want to be the reason. They want to be difference makers. So I think that if you watched out there today, there's plenty of positions that I should have people standing on line. Maybe they'll be calling me. I might not even have to call them. Coach, we saw Mike Cummings come out in the fourth quarter. Do you just want to get him a look? Is there anything to read into that? Well, I think that, I think that at that time, you know, if we were going to go into – a package that Mike does the best. He doesn't do it better than Dane, but that's what he's really in his comfort zone. I figured, you know, we're going to have to, he's going to get have to get some playing time to see what we got right here. So, you know, I'm glad we got him in there and he got an opportunity to throw the ball a couple times and go ahead and run, run the offense. But right now I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't read anything into, you know, you know, changes of positions and you know, depth charts and everything. But, you know, I think I have to be objective and look at every position, and quarterbacks got to be included along with everything else. But I think that that, that was the time to go ahead and get his feet wet. What do you make Take of one more day? question, guys. Pardon me? What do you make of Dane's day? I mean, good in the first half, missing throws again in the second half. Well, you know, I think the only throw that I really – well, there were two throws that I would like to have back, but one hurt more than the other. Okay, the, 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 the move post for the interception – and that was a crit that's a critical play. Now the other play isn't aren't the two interceptions that you're thinking of? I mean, because they're both in traffic. You're sticking a slant into traffic. It's bang bang ball bang gets banged up in the air. To me, it was just a comeback on the right hand side. I mean, you're throwing a comeback on the right hand side. To, you know, to start off a drive, first play of a drive. Okay, and those are the things when they're open like that. You have to you have to make those. But. You know, he has three picks. Two of them are, def you know, deflected up balls that, you know, could go either way. You know, the one he like that back is the, the one down there in the red zone. The yeah, line, are there any personnel change options available for you? Um, not many. Not many, you know. You know, I think that, you know, we'll, we'll, go, ahead and, we'll go ahead and discuss those right here, um, you know, as we go through the next couple of days, too. But, you know, I, one thing I can't do is I can't just stay status quo. I can't just say, well, that's okay. We got our butts whooped by K State. That that's okay, fellas. Yeah, you know, trust me. That's not the, that's not the the message that was that was it was not the message that was relayed in the locker room after the game. Let me just say that.